Hello everyone. In this video, I'll talk about AWS Backup multi-party approval for logically air gap vaults. My name is Azad Penjiev and I'm a technical account manager at AWS. I will talk about how you can add a layer of security to your data recovery during inadvertent or malicious events. I will also do a brief demo to get you started with this AWS Backup feature. Multi-party approval is a capability of AWS organizations that allows you to protect a predefined list of operations through a distributed approval process. Using multi-party approval, you can establish organizational approval workflows and transform security processes into team-based decisions. AWS Backup supports multi-party approval for AWS Backup logically air-gapped vaults to further enhance your organizational security without compromising operational agility. AWS customers incur no additional cost for integrating and using multi-party approval teams with AWS Backup logically air-gapped vaults. Let's briefly talk about each job function in the multi-party approval process. First, the administrator creates approval teams by inviting AWS IAM Identity Center users. Administrators also manage approval teams by requesting team updates or deleting a team. And once all approvers accept the invitation, the team becomes active. For the requester, they make a request to execute a protected operation and wait for the associated approval team to review the requested operation. And for the approver, they receive email notifications to approve requester's attempt to execute a protected operation. And in the multi-party approval portal, they either approve or reject the request. Multi-party approval for AWS Backup Logically air gap vaults adds a layer of protection for you to recover your application data when your AWS account or AWS organizations becomes inaccessible due to ransomware or malicious events. Using multi-party approval, you can create approval teams which consist of highly trusted individuals in your organizations, then associate them with your logically air gap vaults. Multi-party approval for AWS Backup Logically Air Gap Vaults combines the security of Logically Air Gap Vaults with the governance of multi-party approval to create a recovery mechanism that works even when your AWS account or organization is compromised. For situations where the primary account or entire organization becomes inaccessible, multi-party approval enables you to securely gain access to critical backups stored in Logically Air Gap Vaults and restore them in your recovery account or accounts. Here are some of the use cases for AWS Backup multi-party approval. One, when AWS account or even AWS organization root gets compromised, multi-party approval will allow a recovery workflow where trusted approval team members can approve access requests to your logically air gap vault backups from a separate recovery account. This way, backups can be restored quickly without having to involve AWS support or rely on compromised credentials. Two, multi-party approval will enable rapid restoration during a ransomware or disaster recovery event. The approval workflow can be executed from a secure recovery account while ensuring a business continuity and preserve a fast recovery time objective in your organizations. Three, multi-party approval enforces distributed governance, makes all actions auditable, and supports compliance needs for critical backup and restore operations. And four, multi-party approval enforces operational separation of duties for your organization, meaning access requests to critical backups cannot also be approved by the requesters. AWS Backup multi-party approval process begins with a proactive setup of a centrally managed multi-party approval teams. First, create a multi-party approval team comprising of trusted individuals from your organization. Then, share the approval team with your target AWS account or accounts using AWS Resource Access Manager. And last, associate the multi-party approval team with the relevant AWS Backup Logically Air Gap Vault. And when accessibility compromise occurs, first, you designate a recovery team members initiate vault sharing requests from one or many recovery accounts. Then the multi-party approval workflow triggers, notifying approvers of a pending request to access the logically air gap vault. And the approval team responds either authorizing or rejecting the sharing. 
Upon receiving the required number of approvals from the approval team, the logically air gap vault becomes accessible in the recovery account or accounts. And last, recovery operations can now proceed using the backups in the logically air gap vault, independent of the compromised owning account. Backups can now be securely and safely restored for business continuity. All right. In my brief demo, I'll walk you through a setup of multi-party approval team on AWS Organizations console. I'll also walk you through backup restoring process from AWS Backup Logically Air Gap Vault during AWS Account Recovery event using multi-party approval process. Let's get into the demo now. All right, I'm in my AWS Organizations and I clicked on multi-party approval. And when I go here, I can see that I can set up multi-party approval. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And here it's going to be asking for um, IEM Identity Center. So I will also go ahead and click that as well. And here I will just enable it. So what enabling multi-party approval does is it associates existing IEM Identity Center and also creates approval portal. Okay, this is going to take some seconds. Now it is um, enabled. All right, so I will go back to my um, AWS organizations. And now I can just uh, click on Complete Setup. And this will complete setting up of multi-party approval. And just like that, my multi-party approval is um, created. The next thing would be creating the approval team. Now that multi-party approval setup is complete, and my identity source is active. There is one more setting that I need to do before I create my multi-party approval team. And for that, I will go out and on the AWS Backup Console and click on the settings. And if I scroll a bit down, I can see that multi-party approval integration uh, feature, it has to be turned on. So in my case, it's already been turned on, but when you first start using it, it's gonna be a status off. So we need to turn this on. Now I can go and uh, set up my multi-party approval team. So in my case, I already have approval team active and set up, uh, meaning that the uh, approvers that I sent invitation to, they accepted invitation. But let's just go ahead and uh, see how you create a uh, multi-party approval team. So I click uh, on the create team and put a team name, description, and add approvers, minimum of three and maximum of 20 from your IEM identity center. And once you search and add your users from IEM Identity Center, um, the next thing you can do is uh, set minimum required approvers to at least two. It is a recommended best practice to at least set it to two approvers, which prevents any single individual from unilaterally accessing the backup, backup data. And with that, you can just click on uh, Create Team. When you invite multi-party approval team members, this is what they will get in their email. And when they click on this respond to invitation, um, they will need to sign in with their IEM Identity Center credentials. And once they sign in, uh, they will be taken to a multi-party approval portal. And here they can see um, requested operations and they can accept or you know, deny them. They can also see approval teams that they are part of. In my case, I am part of the backup restore approval team. And here you can see pending invitations invitation history, and also operation um, history. And once all the members of the multi-party approval team accept the invitation, your multi-party approval team status will become active like this. All right, the next step here is to share this multi-party approval team with target AWS accounts. And for that, I will go to Resource Access Manager on my uh, management account. And here, um, I will go ahead and click on um, resources um, shared by me. So in my case, I already have this shared, but in the first uh, first time you are doing this, you will have to start uh, create resource share. So click on that and give it a name. And now here you can just uh, search for multi-party approval and select this and select this and click on next. And this is fine. Click on next. And now here I can um, display my organizational structure and I can just say um, I want to deploy this, um, share this multi-party approval team with these two organizational 
units and I can just click on um, next and I can just create um, resource share. So once this resource is shared, um, you need to go into those accounts and you need to accept this resource sharing from those accounts. So I just shared multi-party approval team with my target accounts. And here when I say target accounts, I mean the AWS account which owns the logical air gap vault. Also the AWS account that backups are restored at. Next, I will check for sharing status in Resource Access Manager. I am in my Resource Access Manager in my primary account where I have the lag vault, logical air gap vault. So I, I can just uh, click on share it with me, resource shares. And I can see that multi-party approval sharing is um, active. I already accepted the invite from the payer account. And now when I go to my AWS Backup Console and go in my um, vaults, I can see that I have um, two logically air gap vaults. And this is the one I'll be working on in this demo. So if I click on this demo lag vault, um, you can see that I have a re one recovery point for a, a protected resource of S3 bucket. And next thing I need to do is here, I need to click on assign approval team. So this will associate the approval team with my logically air gap vault in my primary account. So click on this. And now I need to uh, select the backup restore approval multi-party approval team and click on submit. Approval team has been assigned to my vault successfully. And I can see that the approval team change status is assigned. Uh, for the first time uh, when I assign this, no approval is needed, but any subsequent changes to the team needs the approval of the original team. For the next step, I will be initiating recovery through vault sharing request from my recovery AWS account. I'm in the AWS Backup Console in the recovery account that I have. And here I will click on the vaults and click on vaults accessible through multi-party approval and further click on request vault access. Provide the vault ARN of my logical air gap vault in my primary account and give it a name. and provide some comments and finally click on send request and i can see that the status of my uh, request is pending approval which means that all the three approvers in my multi-party approval team they will be getting notifications to approve this requested operation and one and once they all approve this uh, request i'll be getting access to this logical air gap vault so i can restore my uh, backups in this recovery account this is the notification I got in my email. And when I click on this uh, respond to operation request, it will take me to multi-party approval console. And here I can just approve uh, this request. Just click on approve. And when the other two approvers also do the same thing, then my um, pending approval status will be active as well. After all the approvers in the multi-party approval team approved the request, now my demo lag vault access status is active. Now I can get the contents of this uh, protected resources from this demo uh, lag vault access vault. So I'll just click go ahead and click on that one. And as you can see, I have recovery points and protected resources available, which is uh, S3 bucket in my case. So I can just uh, click on this one. And now I can restore this S3 bucket in this recovery account. So I can just click on restore. And I will just say create a new bucket, MPA um, lag vault, and some random text. And I will just say restore uh, backup. So it will take some time to restore this bu uh, bu bucket in this uh, recovery account. At the same time, let me just go back here. Um, you can actually also um, click on the actions and copy this um, recovery point um, either to uh, copy back to a source account or to a different destination. Let's say in region, US East 1. And I can also um, opt in to copy this um, recovery point to another account's vault. So I'm going to briefly pause here until the restore job is complete. My S3 bucket restore job in my recovery account is now complete. So um, if I go check on the contents of my S3 bucket, 
Uh, this is this was the bucket that I restored them in, a brand new bucket in this account. And as you can see, I have all my S3 objects restored successfully in my uh, recovery account. This is the end of my demo. Thank you for watching.